John Lipsky, good morning. Good morning. Beautiful um, morning. <laughs> yes, it is. You've spent more than 15 years, all in all, at the IMF. And um, you were there before the crisis, during the crisis, after the crisis. And you've talked about a new model for global economic and financial governance post-crisis. Uh, what about it in 2014? Well, I think we're at a, an important turning point with regard to the group of 20 leaders. Uh, this is the principal institutional response to the global financial crisis. The G20 leaders met for the first time in November 2008, very soon after the financial crisis became really serious. They set four goals to repair and restore the world economy, to repair and reform the world financial system, to prevent protectionism and promote new trade openness, and to reform the international financial institutions. And they created new organizations to the G20 leaders to accomplish each of these. Six years after the crisis began, none of those goals have been reached. And there is question about the commitment of the political leaders to this cooperative G20 approach to solving the world's problems. And that's why the summit in Brisbane, the leader summit in Brisbane, Australia in November is going to be a crucial test for this cooperative approach to solving our biggest economic and financial problems. How can people like me, for instance, can regain confidence in economic policies according to you? Well, first of all, it strikes me that what you need are some policies that merit confidence. We've moved some way toward repairing and restoring the world economy, but as I said this morning in our, the panel I participated in, we're still a long way from where we want to be and even where we thought we would be. So new reform efforts are needed, and the G20 finance ministers have promised that their leaders will have an action plan to endorse this November that will boost global growth. Let's see if they can actually produce, first produce such a plan, and secondly, have the political will to implement it. If so, then folks like you and me will have greater confidence in the outlook. Would you have a commentary on Greece's economic outlook? It remains a very difficult one. Uh, there's no question that the whole, the whole situation, not just with Greeks, but with the peripheral crisis countries in the European Union has been extremely uh, difficult, stressful, uh, and unhappy in many ways. But in the specific case of Greece, initially there was a strong reluctance to undertake the structural reforms that will be necessary to address the essential problem of Greece within the European Union, and that has been its loss of competitiveness versus its neighbors. Without structural reforms and, uh, and real discipline in Greece, it will be very difficult to regain that competitiveness. Now the government is implementing many of the reforms that were actually designed and intended to be undertaken years ago. They're very controversial, they're very difficult politically, but there is no alternative for Greece within the European Union than to regain its competitiveness through economic reforms. John Lipsky, thank you very much. Thank you.